It's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week, and this week we are in H-Town, at a little place that's always got a line and some amazing turkey legs. We're at the Turkey Leg Hut. On the southwest side of the Third Ward, at just a few exits from downtown, you'll find a fine restaurant dedicated to flavorful fowl that fills up rather fast. All these folks come here for the food, and when you see what makes these turkey legs so talked about, it's no wonder they get gobbled up. Oh, I love it. I mean, from the first time I came. The turkey legs are smoked to perfection. The most unique in Houston, I think. When you come here, it's just a, it's a, it's an experience. That's what they come for. Nakia Price and her husband Lynn started the turkey business back in 2015. The former University of Houston basketball player was working for a litigation firm when her and her husband decided to start selling food in their family's perfectly placed parking lot across the street from the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. At what point did you decide, hey, turkey legs are my thing? At no point. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally something that just happened. We started during rodeo season. We were shuttling people into the into the rodeo, and uh, we just had a barbecue pit on the on the uh, on the lot. And you know, it was just something that that happened. Now, if you've ever been to the rodeo, you know the smell these dreamy drumsticks can give off. It's a great turkey leg. It's not your average turkey leg. Literally, these turkey legs fall off the bone. We're gonna attempt the impossible: picking up a leg from the turkey leg hut. And we just lift it and chew, right? Oh, 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 no. Can't do that here. Oh my gosh. But Nakia's smoking hot legs involve a secret seasoning that Lynn wasn't too sure about. Turns out it sent people into a frolicking frenzy. He thought that we shouldn't season the turkey legs and I told him that we should. And so he was actually recording me seasoning the turkey legs and people started coming and they were like, we want the turkey leg with the seasoning on it. And he kind of looked at me and I looked at him and winked them and, <laughs> and it took off. As if the incredible flavor of the food wasn't enough, Lynn took the turkey to the next level, taking perfectly seasoned provisions and piling things on top of it. He was like, yeah, let's just do it and see what happens. And there it happened. And then after that came our number one seller, which is the shrimp Alfredo stuffed turkey leg. You heard that right. Shrimp Alfredo stuffed turkey legs. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yes, yeah. But it doesn't stop there. You've got legs stuffed with dirty rice, Tennessee glazed, and Cajun crawfish mac and cheese stuffed. Nowhere else in Texas. Euphoric, you know what I mean? It's just like a, you feel a guilty pleasure, which always makes you feel good, but it's worth it. How many turkey legs are you guys selling today? <laughs> this might take a little time to add up. On our busiest days, we sell about 2,800 turkey legs a day. Oh yeah, God. and on our non-busy days, like during the week, which is maybe a Tuesday or Wednesday, we still sell about 2,000. That's unreal. Yeah, it's a lot. No turkey is safe. No turkey is safe. <laughs> no matter the season. No matter. Nope. Did I mention the constant line of people trying to get their hands on these turkey legs? Lines. Every day here. Every day. Is that crazy? It's surreal. When you look at a turkey leg, you're like, okay. I, how do you imagine stuffing it? Like you just put it up under there? No, I can't tell you all of that. Okay, okay, it's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret, oh. it's a secret. Well, we did a turkey trot to the back to see how much of the turkey leg process we could take in, and it wasn't much. You guys are pretty secretive about this process. We are. It's a process that uh, has a patent pending, and all our employees sign non-disclosure agreements. Everything, yeah. It's that, it's that serious. That's serious? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So we're picking up the process kind of in the middle of it. Yeah, almost toward the end. Toward the end. Toward the end. Okay, yeah. so now the turkey legs have already been seasoned. And they've already been seasoned. Well, they this is the last process. This is the last step where they okay. slow cook. Okay. And yeah, they, they cook for hours. Hours? Yeah. It smells like the rodeo here. It does. It. It's all in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> From here, they go to the kitchen. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Now this is where the magic In order to get a taste, I promise not to give away any secrets. So time to pull up a chair and get ready to chow down. So here we are with the stuffed turkey leg. This one, the shrimp Alfredo. And if you look at it, it looks like a bowl of shrimp Alfredo that happens to be in a turkey leg. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. It just pulls right off. Oh man. Look at that turkey leg, smoking, literally. We'll go ahead and go ahead and grab some of the Alfredo sauce, dirty rice, 
a shrimp. Oh, you see that smoke in there? Here's to the H-Town Cuisine. It didn't take long to realize I could never quit this food cold turkey. That's amazing. When someone tries to turkey leg for the first time, what do they say to you? <laughs> it's not what they say, it's their facial expression. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying not to make a silly face. Why'd you make a silly face? Oh my gosh. The Texas sized turkey leg itself is terrific. The smoke meat is moist and delicious, but then you put all those toppings on top of it and it just takes it out of this world. It's the flavor, the seasoning, um, the way they cook it. I mean, it's very rare you could go somewhere and get food and you don't have to do anything to it. But here, you just sit down and eat. It's definitely turkey licious. All the different varieties of turkey legs, the lemon pepper, the Alfredo, the shrimp, the dirty rice, I mean, you can't beat it. What do you attribute your success to? Late nights, early mornings, consistency, not cutting any corners. Um, just staying consistent. I promise you when I find a better tasting turkey leg with all of the um, accents, you won't find it anywhere else. If you want a little, a little taste of heaven, you need to come back.